Of late, the e-commerce box seems to have bitten the Indian conglomerates as well. With nationwide digitalization campaigns and internet boom, the big businesses know that e-commerce is the next big thing. Probably this is why the Tatas, Birlas and Ambani's are trying to carve out a niche in e-commerce spaces like fashion and groceries. We speak with Anoop Jain, strategic advisor at GFK, to find out if Indian conglomerates would be able to take on international players like SoftBank and Alibaba. Well, Anoop, Indian conglomerates seem to be entering e-commerce space at a pretty late stage. And of course, this space is already dominated by big players like Flipkart, Amazon and Paytm. What do you think about their business strategy? Do you think uh, these are the experiments by cash-rich companies or do you think they have already sensed a huge opportunity and may be able to expand sometime later in future? Well, um, with the um, large cash-rich conglomerates, mm -hmm. by definition, they like anything which is large, mm -hmm. okay? Because uh, there is no point meddling around with small stuff. It doesn't add to their top line, doesn't add to their bottom line. And they'd rather do that in their private individual capacity like we see Mr. Ratan Pata doing it in his own uh, from his own family office. Grocery business is, by any stretch of imagination, um, extremely big, and it will remain big. They did uh, try this in the past, and uh, many of them then withdrew. Uh, however, you know, we, we have to see uh, this is uh, going to be work working out for them or not working out for them. That only time will tell. But certainly, you know, this is part of their, you know, business strategy, to get into large businesses. So any sector which is big attracts large conglomerates. So this is an essential part of their business strategy. Now, as far as grocery is concerned, I think they have to be really serious. And uh, if they want to go through the acquisition route, it may actually be better uh, than rather sort of developing it from scratch. Uh, obviously, the market has shaped and developed in such a manner that they have the hits and misses of some of these players like Big Basket, uh, and others in front of them so they can learn from that and avoid repeating the mistakes uh, at their own cost. Well, the Indian e-grocery space has proven to be a very difficult market for a lot of players and a lot of startups shut their shop uh, in the earlier stages. Now, at this point in time, uh, Tata's, Billa's and Ambani's are trying to enter this space. Of course, uh, they are uh, flush with cash. But apart from this, do you think they have any other strength that may help them take on bigger players and bigger venture capitalists like uh, Alibaba and SoftBank. Capital is no longer a differentiator. And that is the, uh, you know, long and short of the global entrepreneurial ecosystem now. Earlier, it used to be the privy of large corporates worldwide. But these days, capital is available to the likes of the Alibaba and the SoftBanks, right? And therefore, capital is not a differentiator anymore. So what's going to be a differentiator anymore is the mindset. The mindset that some of the large conglomerates, Indian conglomerates, which are cash rich, uh, is quite different from the one which is required to succeed in these new sectors. Uh, these companies, they think digital first, they think technology first, uh, they think mobile first, they think about consumer preferences. Where are the uh, legacy Indian organizations? They tend to come from the brick and mortar side first going electronic. They view it as a, another channel. They, uh, their thinking is not mobile first or technology first. Path to success is going to be driven by the quality of the teams and the quality of empowerment that those teams are given to do what they have to do. Well, of course, startups, billers and Ambani's do not have a dearth of capital that has acted as a hindrance for a lot of startups. However, it is that X factor that these companies need to succeed in a space like e-commerce. Let's see if these conglomerates would be able to crack a consumer-oriented sector like e-commerce. Thanks for being with us on VCCTV. Keep watching this space for more updates.